Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a project that I did for a swap that I am in over on the Creating the Crafty Life. This swap is a smash book slash junk journal and it needed to be a uh, vintage couture. So let me show you what I've done. My partner is Misty. Hi Misty. So let me show you what I've created for her and I absolutely love this love it love it love it I used graphic 45's couture paper line and I just I knew this was going to be the cover this piece of paper here was going to be the cover I just it just screamed cover to me and then I have um, I used wild orchid craft flowers some laces and some trims I absolutely love how this turned out the covers are chipboard and I covered them with craft color cardstock and then I layered some black cardstock underneath and then the paper on top just because the cover was a little bit bigger than the 8x8 pad so I wanted to, to stretch it a little bit so I love how that came out I inked everything in black soot distress ink so and then when you open it up there's a pocket here and I made some little envelopes for her to put some items in and I we weren't supposed to decorate the inside we could paper the the pages but we weren't supposed to decorate because that is up to them to decorate when they put items in here so on the back cover I do have a pocket and then I have this page that flips open this way and then the back and then I have some um, copy paper that I ink the edges with vintage photo and I have an envelope here and then we needed to add one stamped envelope so I have this beautiful stamp from uh, London Market this one right here that I used I absolutely love it I used the butterfly and then this big stamp way up here absolutely beautiful stamp that I use and it's from Pink Paisley the London Market Collection so I thought that went well with it and I used uh, the vintage photo and then I inked around the edges um, of a lot of the papers with the the vintage photo and some of it I did have uh, black soot and I made a little file folder here and this paper is actually from the craft uh, line of Graphic 45 and I just thought it went well with um, the couture with the black that's in it and on the back here so it's got the same paper front and back and then there's some more copy paper and then another flip out page and then these are little pockets that she can make tags and put inside the pockets so I got one there and then this really pretty one and then this one so there's three pockets here and then another page a flip page with the couture paper on the front and more couture paper on the back and then I have another uh, envelope here that she can put something in more of the copy paper and then another envelope that I created with my Martha Stewart uh, scoreboard really pretty and then another file folder this time I put the tab in the middle the other one the tab was at the top so I made sure that the tabs were in different spots for her and I actually absolutely love this paper I love all the clocks so vintagey looking I just love them and then another envelope here and then some more paper and then another divider really pretty with the black and then the couture ladies on the back then I have a tag here I have another envelope with that beautiful clock paper absolutely gorgeous then I have another file folder and then some more of the copy paper and then the back cover has another pocket and I stuck some craft colored tags on the inside and then this is the back and I'm going to put my 
my label on the back for her. And then I bound it with the rings because I don't have a, a bind it all or a cinch, which I really want to get, but I just I can't afford to get one right now. So I use the, the rings. And then along the side of the rings, what I did was I put some black seam binding, some cream colored seam binding. It's actually supposed to be white, but it, it's more of a cream. Some lace. I have some pearls. And then I made this little charm for her with some pieces from my stash. There's a key. There's a pearl cluster. There's the crystals. And then there's this beautiful piece right here. Absolutely beautiful. Come on, camera, focus. Hello, focus. No, oh, it's not going to focus. There it goes. But I thought that was absolutely beautiful. So it hangs off of a, a Tim Holtz class. And then the front here, let me go over this just a little bit. Like I said, I this page paper here just screamed um, front cover. I have some black rhinestone trim sprays that I had in my stash from Want to Scrap. So I put some here and I put some on the bottom. And my flowers are all from Wild Orchid Crafts. There's a large gardenia down here. And then I have one of these uh, beautiful white uh, trellis. I believe this is a trellis rose in the 40 millimeter. And then I have some a red trellis rose in the 35 millimeter. And then I have some black. I have a, how many do I have? Oh, just one. Uh, one of the open roses, I believe this is a 20 millimeter open rose in black. Then I have some hip rose buds in white and some 8 millimeter rose buds in red. I have some of this pearl trim spray here. There's some black feathers. I have a couple of black leaves. Then I have this white uh, wild rose, which I believe is 25 millimeter. And then I have these beautiful uh, satin black rosebuds with the rhinestone in the middle. And then I have a very large pearl tucked underneath the flower. And then down here I have some more of the hip rosebuds and the 8 millimeter rosebuds. And another one of them black satin rose roses with the bling in the center. And another of the flat back pearl here. And then I had some black lace that I put down underneath. And then this beautiful pearl trim that I got from Shabby Chic Boutique on Facebook from Amy Love, which is absolutely beautiful. So that is my front cover. And I love the way that it came out. I had a lot of fun making this and I hope Misty likes it. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And I will leave a link to creating the Crafty Lightning site um, in the description box below. I will also leave the link to uh, Amy's shop, Shabby Chic Boutique on Facebook. And you need to go check it out. She has some beautiful items. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.